Can you tell everybody in America what's so special about oh my durian? Goodness, okay, okay, okay. okay. Hold on, give yeah. her a second. Okay. Auntie, Auntie had to, you know, okay. freshen Auntie, up. Auntie, Auntie likes okay. it. Cue the Jurassic Park theme song. This is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. Welcome to a very special airport episode of Fun Bros Food. And Ooh. right now we are in Singapore at the Changi Airport. This is well known as one of the best airports in the entire world. And they just built this crazy new mall, the Jewel, right behind us that we are about to enter. And it is known to have the largest indoor waterfall in the entire world. Andrew, Singapore is crazy because you got chains from everywhere. Mm -hmm. You've got chains from East Asia, Japan, Southeast Asia, Indonesia, America. Malaysia, American and European brands that have localized to fit the region. I mean, overall, Singapore, especially the airport, is just a hub of international cuisine. In this video today, we are gonna be giving you guys a taste of what the Changi Airport has to offer. All right, guys, we have about five more hours until our flight, so we got here a little bit early, but uh, we got a lot of eating to do. Let's, Let's go. go. Andrew, I know we're not in Jewel yet, but I saw that they had Japanese baked sweet potatoes, oh. and I am a big fan. David has a special place in his heart for sweet potatoes. Andrew, immediately the thing that stands out to me about this stand, it feels kind of like Japan, does it not? Yeah, yeah, Can I have one Japanese sweet potato? Is it called yakimo? Yes. Yakimo. This is not as popular in America, but in Asia, a baked sweet potato is an extremely popular snack to eat. And of course, I, I know in America you might think it's weird. Okay, you're gonna peel a potato at the airport. Yes. No. David, what's the best way to open up a sweet potato? They don't give you any directions here. It looks like you just gotta rip it open in the middle. And if we are looking at a Yakimo Japanese sweet potato and a Japanese sweet potato milkshake, very subtle flavor. Grandparents would like this. Just to be able to enjoy this at one of the top airports in the entire world, don't underrate it. This is really good, not too sweet. My take on this milkshake, it's really smooth, a little heavy. Uh, I would say not a whole lot of sweet potato flavor. I guess it's not that strong. Andrew, they have a song in there, Andrew. It goes, dun, 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 donkey. Sounds like Christmas music, but it's just saying the brand name. I just had to stop on the way to Jewel just to get there. But let's head to Jewel. Okay, we've arrived at Durian Empire. All durian here. Here's one thing, it's a funny thing about durian. Everybody says it stinks, but when you eat it, I don't think you really stink like durian. The durian is such a symbol of Southeast Asia. They have gold statues of it like it's Buddha. There is almost some like, I don't want to say religious aspect to it, but some type of sacred lionization. I mean, you have durian pudding, you have, who knows, somebody's probably wearing like a durian iced out chain somewhere. Can you tell everybody in America what's so special about oh durian? Goodness. Okay. Okay, okay. Hold on. Okay. give her a second. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, get ready. <laughs> Auntie had to, you know, freshen okay. up. Auntie. No doubt, the smell is repulsive to foreigners, especially the white people. But for us Asian, it's a really wonderful, wonderful pleasure of eating it. Yeah. Because only Asian people understand but for the whites no but it really has a unique taste like that the truffle you know for the westerners they found it like cheese they love it hey the truffle and of the east durian cream puff two for 250. Yeah. Mm. it's truly a unique taste Yo, give, give, john gotta try it open your mouth and try it Thank Thank you. <laughs> open your mouth open, open your, your mouth mind. and try it mm. it's good all right shout out to the nice auntie here at durian empire but we gotta hit jewel I'm not gonna lie, Andrew. Being in Asia always puts a smile on my face. We're about to enter the jewel. The neo-futuristic design has the largest indoor waterfall, the water vortex, Yo, Andrew, sponsored by HSBC. I, I, immediately, <laughs> it looks like we're in Canada and we're also at the Epcot Center in Orlando. Duh. Because it, it looks like the Epcot Center, but then that looks like views from the six. Andrew, I heard the jewel is the most impressive mall that's attached to the airport in the entire world. That's what I heard. David, these plants are actually all real. There's actually pots of plants. The air in here is so clean, dude. There's like no carbon dioxide right now. Cue the Jurassic Park theme song. <laughs> David, like I said, man, Singapore, they don't just like architecture in the use of buildings. They love architecture in the use of plants. This is one of the craziest things I've ever seen. What if you fell into that? You think it takes you to a different dimension? Malaysia. All right, Andrew, we've arrived at Bakery Cuisine. They have a funny way of saying things in Singapore. Chicken ham, yep. toast cake. Would this be like coffee cake? I'm gonna try the chocolate one. I love chocolate cake. That's what I'm going for first. Going for pandan. Moist, soft, a little spongy. It's pretty good. Pandan. Ooh, pandan is nice. I was really looking forward to trying this orange one. Oh, orange is good. 
Orange is good. A little Off artificial flavor. Yeah. Purple sweet potato mochi croissant. So that has like a strip of mochi laying inside the croissant. Then you got the bolo butter, chicken chashu bao. They usually use chicken out here because so much of the population has a religious restrictions. Yo, I gotta say the service here at Bakery Cuisine is top notch. This is a red bean don tot. That's my favorite Don Tot I've had in Singapore. It's better than the other fusion Don Tots. This one works really well. And I don't even like Hong Dao. I'm not even a big red bean type of guy. Yo, John, John. go for it. Thank you, sir. John, what'd you give fire. it up? He said fire, <laughs> he says fire. <laughs> Guys, let's keep it moving. Hey. Andrew, we found our friends from Wubi. We found the Peapa Gao collaboration. We are looking at a Wubi salty lemon milk, mint green tea. And they got a popcorn honey. Dude, this is like one big culture cartel calm right here. I'm Tom Hong from Action City. But Action City opened up this cafe. Correct. Very correct. Is, is this your flagship store here or you have other one in uh, uh, We got one in Tamishimaya. I want to show your arm. Yeah. <laughs> That's for life. Oh, is that fake? <laughs> <laughs> That's not fake. <laughs> so we built up these 3.9 meters showcase. 12,000 sing. That's I like 8,000 US yeah, dollars. Correct, correct. For the Doraemon. Ding yeah. dong. Crazy. But first of all, if you are collectors, always first important thing is that you must love what you collect. Go for your best lover. Pie is a very good form of happy energy. And when people come in, they feel happy. I think we are doing something which is very, very great. All right, you guys, yeah. we had to make a pit stop at Action City Cafe. Andrew, we got a Singaporean shrimp rolls and we got their own version of popcorn chicken. All right, I'm gonna try the shrimp roll, guys. This is a cool shrimp roll because it's not really folded like an egg roll. It's almost like a cone that's just shriveled up at the end. This is not chicken, this is chicken cartilage. All right, I'm gonna try this. Watch how crispy this is. Mm. Yo, I didn't know how to feel about this truffle mushroom soup, but actually I really like it. The shrimp roll is good. Look at all that pepper and seasoning that's inside of that shrimp roll. It's not just plain Jane, baby. Okay, guys, in my hand, I have the pepper spice Boston lobster toast. You have Boston lobster here with the slice of this thick toast. This looks so peppery and tasty. Andrew, Andrew, that's not just a lobster. It's a lobster. The lobster tail comes out right like that. I don't know why I'm talking Australian now. To be sitting next to a bunch of bear bricks at Action City, to be eating lobster tail. I don't know, man. Maybe only in Singapore? Only in Singapore. <laughs> Yo, where can they find follow Action City on Instagram? Action City SG. Action City SG. Follow them, Action City SG. That was dope. That was like culture cartel all year round. David, we have a whole rest of the jewel to check out. The journey continues. I saw this on a list called the 23 places you must eat at the Jewel, Le Nou. I'm sure that's not how you say it. I just said it like a French person. Famous for the beef noodle soup. Andrew, we are at oh my gosh. Le Nou, aka Le Nou. Spicy and rich. We're having a Singaporean Nuro Mian, but it's based off the chef's travels to Taiwan and China. Wagyu beef noodle soup. soup. My diet, first of all, uh, never existed. You know what's crazy, David? What do you think about how the noodles are almost more like ramen noodles? They're not as thick as the Taiwanese or Chinese stuff. Mm. This is one of the better, tastier Nuro Mians I've had. It's very beefy, it's very spicy, very fragrant. This is one of the best. Yo, John, need to see you have it, man. Not gonna lie, I was gonna say, I was gonna pass. I can never pass. Good, it's good. Right, Andrew, would you agree? I wouldn't come here if you're looking for a simple new romance. I would say you gotta come to this spot if you are looking for an experience. You Overall, man, I, I like this bowl of, of beef noodle soup a lot. 4.5 out of 5. Wow. All right, man. You know what they just got in Singapore was a Shake Shack. This, Check this, this out. This is a recent import. Or inner. Shake Shack La. Shake Shack La. What did we see on the menu that they don't have in America? They have a Pandan milkshake. Wow. Are we gonna get it? Are we gonna wait in this line? Absolutely not. Andrew, we're at the Lady M. Lady M is the in the United States, but not everywhere. Singapore. <laughs> Andrew. Sometimes you can get a taste of the old money in the Upper East Side of Manhattan, New York City, but in the Jewel at Changi. And this is high society right here. Checker cake, man. I don't know if this is gonna taste extremely different, but it looks extremely different. Tastes like flowers, bro. You know those rose tea bobas. This checker cake is really good. It's just a good chocolate cake. I don't know how else to put it. Yeah, I wouldn't say there's anything revolutionary about it from a flavor profile standpoint. <laughs> 
These Millie grapes are super rich. There's just two guys at Lady M eating all these pretty cakes. Yo, John, try the cakes, man. John, you have to eat the cake with your fist. Ah. You backed up after you actually <laughs> felt the cake and you were like, hold up. <laughs> Grab it, eat it. Oh my God. That was so unladylike. David, 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 David. I am a big fan of pork floss. This stopped you in your tracks. You were on your way out. It broke my neck. My neck is actually hurt. There are different type of floss. Fish floss, crispy chicken floss, not regular chicken floss, crispy chicken. Chicken floss, okay? Chili crispy pork floss. Seaweed crispy wow. frosty. I hate to do it to B Chang Hang. I didn't have any room for it, but you guys got the shout out. All right, Andrew, that does it for the Jewel. There are so many restaurants in there, but there's not as many like hand-to-hand -hand food stalls. It's, it's really upscale, I'm not gonna lie, and a lot of it was expensive, so it kind of discouraged us. Also, I'm getting really full, so I really don't have a lot of space for a lot of food, but by the time we make it to the Changi Airport, which is connected to the Jewel, I may have some space for food. Let's head on over. We're gonna just try this right here. We got matcha Christmas. Bust this open right here. Matcha crazy. Oh, this is the red bean one. Wow. I'm going in. I'm gonna give my favorite to the Shiro Mochi Obanyaki, but definitely the, the sh outer shell was a little heavy. Not a bad pick. I'm gonna have to go with the double chocolate matcha Obanyaki. Overall though, definitely check them out. David's favorite snack was from a brand called Eureka, and they have a stall right here. Everything is layered on top of sweet caramel popcorn, so even when they have a sour cream and onion flavor, it was sour cream and onion on top of caramel popcorn. Wow. We got durian caramel corn. Kind of tastes like durian, okay, sour without the funk. Salted wow. egg caramel corn. Okay, so this is your third favorite. Spicy cuttlefish, essentially spicy squid. Ah, oh, see why? Is there any other one? I gotta try one more. White coffee, guys. That's big in Malaysia. White coffee. Is this stall new in the airport or? We also have in Jewel, Westgate, Raffle City, and Viva City. So you have one in Jewel, but this one's yeah. better than the one in Jewel, right? Yeah. 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 All right. So on our last run of this Changi Jewel Changi run. We are at the 24 hour food hall upstairs. And basically what you do is you have to top off a card and you use the card to pay for everything here because I think it makes things more efficient because not every stall wants to deal with their own amount of money. So you have to prepay on a card and then you can go to any of these stalls oh my goodness, and use it. Bro, you gotta pick what you want, bro. That's complicated. Wow. That's I thought it was just by the money. I really wanted to get this, what I believe is like a chu chow cho me. Mild spicy. Mild and spicy. It's me puck. All right, we're gonna pay. Wow, they show you a video about how to pay. We're nearing the end of a crazy road, and I wouldn't want to end it any other way. Three types of Hainan chicken, one plate. Andrew, we could not leave Singapore without visiting the airport Terminal 3 hawker stalls. It's crazy to see it because we've been coming to Singapore off and on for really what, like almost six years? To see it change, but we would not be right without a trip to Singapore getting Hainan chicken rice. You've got the roasted chicken, the pure Hainan chicken, and you've actually got a fried Thai chicken. And you got a, a chow jo dish. Yeah, I think this is chow jo chow mein. So here we let's, go. Let's try the chicken. Far mm, good. Of course, with the sauce. All right, guys. I'm excited to try these noodles. Wow, really different flavor than chow 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 mein. A lot spicier. Similar elements, though. Oh, this is really good. It's actually good. Man, I'll tell you this, the chickens in, in Asia, though, real skinny. Very skinny, very skinny. Mm. You know, obviously, you guys, it's really fun to do these food crawls. It gives you an excuse to try a lot of different things and even meet and ping with a lot of different types of people. But at that core of it, it is an exploration of culture. And as you guys can see, if you guys look at our last videos we did in Singapore five years ago, the culture's completely changed. It shifted from, and I still like the hawker stalls, and at first it was only the hawker stalls. Then the hawker stalls went into the malls, and the malls had good versions of hawker stall food, and now they're almost at a whole nother level where they're just importing chains from Japan, Taiwan, Hong Kong, yeah. and the West. I think it's cool that within our videos you can see how Singapore has already changed in the last five years. Like, uh, we're not really going always to the fanciest restaurants, but we're going to like the mid-level restaurants that are always changing. So. It used to all about Biba hawker stalls, and then now it's, you know, there's more international chains as well. So 
But I think that what I do like is that Singapore does hold the hawker stalls um, in a very high regard as far as tradition wise. So I don't think they're gonna go away, but I do think they'll shrink. Singapore is a top five food city in the entire world. I agree. Okay, what was the favorite thing you made? I gotta come back to the Japanese sweet potato. Wow. Yeah. Hey, not here to argue with the man. I'm going with the spicy beef noodle soup. All I can say is you gotta come visit Singapore. Come to Changi, come to the Jewel at Changi. Thank you so much. Please let us know in the comment section below what is something we did not get to try in either the Jewel or Changi. What other airports around the world have amazing food spots? Make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications, give this video a big thumbs up, and until next time, we're out. Peace. All right, so on our final run of this Jewel Changi, Jewel Changi no, 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 airport no. crawl. Changi, Jewel, Changi. Changi, Jewel, Changi, Jewel. No, we only went to Changi once. Changi, Jewel, Changi. Crawl. We are at the 24 no, no. hour.